So here we are, second instalment of Mrs. EV Grief Drives. Very exciting and it's a car we've been waiting for for a very long time. It's the Ionic 5 all-wheel drive. And we're going towards the abattoir. Excellent. <laughs> So Mrs. That Ivy, was not my choice. Mrs. Evie Brief, what do you think so far in the short time of being behind the wheel of this? <laughs> um, do you want me to talk about the driving or what it looks like or what? Oh, what the driving. We, the can driving. Do, we can do exterior looks uh, later. Well, okay, I also have strong views about the interior. Yeah, so we'll cover that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Um, so, uh, I, I quite like how smooth it feels. Um, it is it is really different to the Tesla feel because well I think you configured it to make me feel a bit less fish out of water so that you know you take your foot off and it can coast a bit. Yes, yeah, so we turn the, the turn the regen down so it, it does roll more than the Tesla right. does. And so that's more what I'm used to. Um, so yeah, it feels it feels more like you you're just stepping into a car you've driven before but it's also it's quite smooth so i think i said to you like you know when you're building up speed it's kind of nice not feeling like there are that feeling of moving up gears you know it right, feels quite right. smooth um, it's incredibly smooth from the, the get-go yeah were you wearing that last video wearing what sloth top no i don't think so i had these cheap sunnies last time and i, I still haven't bought any new ones since so unfortunately I don't, I don't love that the blink is on the right, but I, I love how the blinker feels. This like silver knob thing it feels really nice in your hand. Yeah, so that's a Japanese and Korean car thing. They just have the blinkers on the right. Oh, okay, but but the knob thing, that's nice. Yeah, it's got a nice metallic finish, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I'm less keen on these screens. So to be honest, I'm looking in front and I just have no idea what I'm seeing. There's this strange picture that looks like this kind of open book or I don't really know what's going on with these coloured lines and it's just all very distracting and I have no idea what I'm seeing. Yeah, I think at. they're trying to show like a visual representation of the speed along a axis, but I prefer just a much bigger speed display, right? Yeah, so I am finding it hard to see what speed I'm going at. And there's just so much more information around, including that giant graphic that is meaningless to me. So I would prefer to just have, you know, a couple of items of information that are useful to me yeah. that are like big. Yeah, no, fair enough. Fair enough. It's still it's still very busy compared to the Tesla. I think people find the Tesla very too futuristic, but in some ways mm. they've paired it, they've paired it right back. They've removed all this other stuff. Like you don't Thank you. You don't really want to see your region level, your kilowatt hours per kilometers, all this other information, do you? No, well, I don't even know what that means, so no, I don't want to see that. If you brief junior, it's not like the only try. No. So, acceleration? Yeah, it feels really smooth, I like it. Um, I'm trying to remember how it feels in comparison to the Tesla, kind of the same, I think, the acceleration and the smoothness. Yeah, this is it's a just, much... The braking is different. Heavy. This is a much heavier yeah. car. This is 400 kilos heavier than the Tesla. Oh, okay. Um, but it's still it's still quick. Yeah. It's still quick. Well, it, it feels very bulky inside. Like, in part, it feels like I'm sort of steering a boat. Yeah, no, it's totally, quite totally. wide. So I noticed that definitely. But it rides very comfortably, I think, as a, like a highway cruiser. It's yeah. A great, it's there's a great this, car. Um, there's this like leg rest down here mm. that see, feels very luxurious that I quite like. The only downside is like two people and a baby. Hi. There's less space than the model for it. I find mm. it feels more cramped. Yeah. Um, I like how the, this screen where you can see your map is right here. Because I did find with the Tesla having the iPad thing here, it's a bit harder to, to look down and see. Yeah, but I find you can't reach things with my little puny arms. I can't stretch over and tap oh, things in its far left corner. I haven't tried to do that yet. Yeah, that's a bit of a stretch, isn't it? That's true. It's like you need the seat back for your legs, but then you can't reach with your arms. And is it, well, is it different to the Tesla in that you can't use your voice for everything so much? Uh, you can with the phone mirroring. Look, what is going on back there? 
So back into the driver's seat, costume change, what do you think about the brake regeneration? Do you think you get used to sort of this one pedal driving style of driving? Um, yes, I think so. It feels, uh, I don't know whether so I'm misremembering this, but it feels, well, so just slowing down there, I still use the brake. Yes. Um, but when you take your foot off, it feels a little bit more sudden than the Tesla, I think, to start to start tailing off. Hmm. Do you think that's right? I'll just put it into the one pedal mode. So the next the next light oh. is basically what you'll do is just gradually ease off the accelerator if you need to slow down. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it wasn't in that just it, now? It was in what? heavy regen, but it wouldn't bring it to a stop. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. And then that's nice, actually. You touch it and you can feel it's going to go, but mm -hmm. it, doesn't, it doesn't do it in a sort of dramatic, like, hopping way almost. Right. You know, right. like it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it gets away from you, but it still starts very, um, like very quickly after you put your foot on the accelerator. Yeah. yeah. So you said when, when you need to stop, you can control the distance it takes. You know it does it quite quickly, so you can gradually reduce the amount of accelerator based on how far you have to the lights, mm. if that makes sense. It's hard, very hard to explain mm. it. But you, you understand how it works. I so think it's... so. I mean, I'm still using the brake a little bit just because that's what I'm used to, but maybe you gradually relearn. Yeah, you, sh you should. You should do. Yeah. I think anecdotally, a lot of people say it is actually easier to then just modulate one pedal only in traffic. Hmm. Yeah, because we're used to in Sydney stop start a lot, and I do tend to coast a bit and try and make it a bit gradual with the brake yeah, there yeah. and so I suppose if you're just doing the same thing but with one pedal maybe it'll be actually a bit smoother to manage. It is, yeah, it is. It's almost the reverse of braking, you're yeah. lifting off instead of gradually applying yeah. pressure. So yeah, you can accelerate sense. now, keep, oh, keep getting too many green lights because it's camber and there's no traffic. Yeah, Not dissing camber, we're from here so you know. <laughs> Too. Yeah, I think this is probably the quietest, bestest riding EV that we've driven. That's a bad sentence. <laughs> Nicest. Like it's just like a, a distant whir, you know, on <laughs> but the it's, road. But it's also very softly sprung and it's very comfortable on the road. Like I think the suspension tuning is good, don't you agree? Mm. Like it's not... You know, I'm not moving around at all. It's not like to... earth shattering or spine shattering in terms of the ride. I suppose compared to our golf where you're up and down with all the bumps and it makes well, a noise that's got every time the that's got adaptive sports changes. suspension and it's got, you know, Yeah, but adjustable. I'm just, I suppose, comparing it to what I know. Yeah. It feels very smooth. And compared to the Model 3. I mean, that also felt smooth. Um, From a performance yeah. point of view, but I think it's like the actual ride comfort if you're thinking about the stiffness. Right, and mm. how your body feels. Yeah. This is more comfortable. I think it probably is actually. Now I yeah. think about it. Yeah. The, tr the trade off in that though is is body roll and this kind of lateral movement. So what does that you probably mean? notice like the car pitches and rolls more than say the Tesla um, in corners. You feel it leaning more? Do you? Like you have to see. I'm trying to take a corner now with this region for the first time. That was yeah. That will, that's an adjustment to get used to doing a corner. We basically keep accelerating. Yeah, it feels wrong, so I suppose I'll have okay. to relearn that. You only lift off a tiny amount basically to, to slow down. Mm, okay. I guess the $86,000 question is would you buy this car? <laughs> no, that's just too much. I think that's too much. I, I don't know, maybe it's just me being a lay person, but you expect to cut above for that that amount of money, like some premium, you know, Porsche or something, but that's... Well, that's Porsche's just... 250000 Yeah, so, okay. I mean, so maybe I'm a bit mistaken with that. I think that, you're but, a bit mistaken. But this, doesn't this just feel like, you know, a, a great high-end small family car for which you'd want to pay yeah, but you're getting a lot $60,000 or something? Yeah, you're getting a lot of features, you know, it's got a large-ish battery pack. See, I took my foot off just a little bit there and it started going a 
um, slowing down quite a lot. Yeah, so take it off less. Yeah, so I think... Um, and, and then you don't need to break. It's quite sensitive, isn't it? You don't need to break. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it breaking. is quite sensitive. So can you take the auto hold off? Yeah. And, and then you have to put your foot on the brake? Yeah. Is that how it works? Okay. There's right. a paddle on the right hand side. A paddle? Yeah, if you flick this a few times. Oh, I see. It it's okay. You. I was just wondering if you can take it off. It's completely off now, so it'll be like an automatic little oh. coast. So indicators we'll... on the other side. Oh yeah, that's good. I always forget that. Um, Forward. Uh, and is this a very inefficient mode for it to be? Well, yeah, because you're not putting anything back into the battery. Right. Okay. In this mode. Well, actually, sorry, that's a lie. You might be putting some back into the battery. You're certainly not putting as much back into the battery. The noise of the blinker is very satisfying. It's good, isn't it? It's, it's soft, but it's still, it's still alert. It alerts you to what's going on. Yeah, the car says nothing's going into the battery. Okay, right. And the Bluetooth dongle says nothing's going into the battery. So you do lose out in that way. Okay. But I suppose it's good that you could drive this like a normal car if you want, or you could drive it like a Tesla. Well, it gives people options. Choose. It gives people options. So we're here for our second Mrs. EV Brief Reviews video. We've got the Ionic 5. What do you think of the exterior design, Mrs. EV Brief? It's very striking. Like, it doesn't look like any other car I've seen. Um, I like how at the front looks a, looks a bit like a hammerhead shark, you know, with the, with the eyes. Um, I quite like how there's no grill, so you know it's very it's very smooth and striking. But I like how see when these flash, these blinker lights, they're square, which that's that's really cool. Do you actually like it though, or do you think it's too kind of masculine, too kind of aggressive? I don't think it's too masculine because there's this curve here, you know. So it's like yeah, they call this a clamshell design, how it like kind of cascades over the front. It's not too boxy, it's smooth at the front. Um, yeah, I don't think it's too masculine. I think um, I quite like all the lines. Um, I like I like these handles, how they go flush. That, that's quite nice. They feel, and they feel good. You know, it feels like you're really doing the labour of opening a door. And there's a lot going on on the side, design-wise. What do you think about these kind of slashes and creases and things that yeah, are happening? Yeah, I'm not here? as keen on those. Like these, these lines here just feel a bit unnecessary to me. I don't really know what they're doing. And what about the wheels? Um, yeah, I mean the wheels, it sort of feels like someone's just over-designed that, to be honest. It's like, why does it need all that stuff going on? Supposedly so they're one circle, aerodynamic right? as well. So there's they're... a function to it. There's a bit there? of functionality to it, but it's also just a bit different. Yeah, I just think it's a little bit too much for the eyes, the wheels. It's a bit too much going on. Yeah, I mean our baby likes poking his finger in all the holes, so I suppose that's exciting, but yeah, I'm, but not, I'm not a fan of the wheels actually. Overall, do you think it's a successful design? Um, well, I think so. It sort of hangs together as a design, I think. You know, as you can see how that, that curve right from the back down to the front and then stopping at the little hammerhead shark eyes, I think it works well. Yeah, We're on the inside now, what about the interior design? What do you think about the interior design? I love this colour. Um, so we had a black one to start off with, and that was just all, oh, it was, it was just so much black. It's just black, black everywhere. Mm. And, and then these, um, these little grills lit up with bright colours, and so it just felt like you're in a bit of, you know, like those karaoke rooms where it's just all black and there's like bright lights. It was awful. But this colour, this just feels so relaxed and in particular I like there's this stitching here that's almost like a pinstripe, like an orange and a dark and it's just like a really nice design feature. I love that little pop of colour. And you notice there's also there's no Hyundai badges on the inside. Right. All, all, you, all you get is Ionic 5 and you've got this kind of square mm. motif that continues on the steering wheel. You can see the little four dots. Oh, is that a, that's a, um, a logo or something is it? Well it's just kind of, it highlights the, the kind of pixel design of the car and you can see oh. they're also embossed up here on the seats oh, as well. Oh, I didn't notice that actually. Yeah, and in the doors, so you can start to pick up little oh. little details like that. That's actually, that's nice how that ties together. I yeah. I didn't notice that. Um, I love this, um, this paper finish, like in this colour, this sort of almost marble 
dark grey. Um, it's beautiful and it feels nice. It feels the contrast between this plasticky bit and that feels really nice. And everything's quite tactile as well, isn't it? What were you saying about the steering wheel controls and the knobs? Oh yeah, so this, um, the knob for the blinker, that feels beautiful. You know, yeah, it's you, like a metallic you, When you cup that finish. in your hand and you turn it, that's, that feels really nice. Almost like it's something expecting a plane or something, you know, pulling down a big lever. I really like that. Actually, yeah, it's quite, it almost looks aircraft-like, doesn't it? Yeah. Or sort of very mechanical. Yeah, and this, this chromey one with the lines, that feels nice too. I don't know what that, oh, I do know what that does. That, that it drives the, the car. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I remember what that does now, but that's, that feels really nice. So that's nice how those two things are different. Um, I like how there's a contrast. So this isn't unlike the black, it was all black. There's the the lighter sort of beigey grey. And then there's the contrast here with this sort of darker grey. Mm. And then the link back to this trim with the stitching. Mm. That just feels like a beautiful contrast actually. Do you think this what they call I forget dynamic console or something? works well, this, this movable thing? Yeah, as a function, I think that's really good because... Would you, you use know, it? Yeah, I put my thongs here, or there, um, and then, yeah, you can, if people need more space in the back, I think that's a really nice feature, actually. I like yeah. it. And I like how there are these um, USB pods here. What does this do? Is that a light That just tells you if the wireless charging is working. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah, and how yeah, this moves up. Um, yeah, I mean, possibly if there was another storage type thing around here, I feel like they could you've have fit bin, something else in, maybe. Here. That's a little, pretty little bin, what can you really fit in there? Put your thongs in there. What, no, my, my feet are far too big for that. What, what's supposed to go in here? Well, I think, I don't know, your phone. Really? And you've got okay. this drawer, which is cool as well, which you've got camera equipment in here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, is, it doesn't feel like it fits much more than normal glove box here. I guess it, it, maybe not, maybe slightly more. Yeah. I guess the question is, do you think it, does it feel premium, you know, for the price point? Does this feel like a nice interior? Yeah, I mean, I think there are some beautiful features. Like, I like, um, I like the, the dots on the, on the seat as well, I haven't mentioned that. How's it, there's the contrast there with that. Is this leather, or is it not this leather? This is leather that is eco-processed. Hmm, what does that mean? Fewer animals died in vain? Hmm, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> um, yeah, I love the, the nice contrast, but it's a subtle contrast between a few of the different materials used. Hmm. And I think I mentioned yesterday this little footrest, like hmm. it feels comfortable, it looks, I think it looks really beautiful. I still don't think I would pay. What did you say? This is worth ninety. About ninety thousand on the road. Yeah. yeah. I, this. I mean, this doesn't feel to me like a ninety thousand dollar car. Yeah. Okay. That's that's an interesting point of view. But it, it is beautiful. Yeah. Like it's more interesting than the Tesla on the inside. Yeah, for sure. Tesla's very functional, isn't it? To the point of being bland. Yeah. There aren't. Um, I suppose there aren't little stylish features in the Tesla interior so much. Probably, I think I still prefer the Polestar interior, mm. actually. I mean, I love those little features, like the pop of colour of the, the mm. seat belts, and that that does feel like a sort of swish Scandinavian lounge room. Mm. I think this is close, but I still prefer that, I think. Yeah. 